If your country is interconnected with autobahns that have no speed limit, the national automotive industry simply has to match the opportunities given to the drivers. Germany is doing a solid job on both fronts, satisfying the need for speed with amazing sports cars year after year. In this episode, we'll be giving you a quick roundup of the newest models within the class that have been precisely engineered for pure speed and on-the-road excitement. Subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News and follow the series of episodes about the 2021 car models. Let's start the engines! Mercedes-AMG GT Black Series After a series of teasers and spy shots, Mercedes has finally unveiled the AMG GT Black Series supercar, which is intended to dethrone the previous GT Pro flagship. Barely street legal, the Extreme Coupe is powered by a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8, producing 730 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. With all this potency delivered to the rear wheels under the control of a super-fast 7-speed dual clutch, the GT Black Series accelerates from 0 to 62 mph in only 3.2 seconds, while 0 to 124 mph takes it just 9 seconds. Such numbers become possible due to the car's aerodynamic upgrades. The GT gets a carbon fiber hood, enlarged air vents, a manually adjustable front splitter, and a huge two-stage rear spoiler. The cabin is the combination of racing technologies and luxury, where the most distinctive features are the 12.3 inches instrument cluster, the AMG performance steering wheel, and the carbon fiber bucket seats. BMW 4 Series The new generation 4 Series is probably one of the most controversial BMW reveals of the year. Despite the uneven reception, the company decided to stick with the look of the Concept 4, giving the 2021 coupe a huge kidney grill with a 3D pattern design, new air curtain intakes, and a ducktail spoiler in the rear. The coupe was announced with six modifications, three diesel and three gasoline, two of which are mild hybrid. All of them get electronically limited speed of 155 mph. In the US, customers can choose between the 430i in either rear or all-wheel drive with a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder and the 440i X-Drive with a 48-volt mild hybrid system and 387 horses. Later in 2020, the model will be launched in convertible and Grand Coupe body styles. Porsche 911 Targa 4 and 4S This summer, the fans of the Targa body style can finally get their hands on the latest 992 generation of the model. Revealed in 4 and 4S configurations, the 2021 looks rather similar to the previous Targa and features a retractable roof above the front seats and a wraparound rear window with a strength control bar. The roof is composed of two magnesium pieces and sound deafening fabric and it can be opened or closed in 19 seconds by the push of a button. Both 4 and 4S come powered by a 3.0-liter flat-six engine, found in the corresponding Carrera models. Its power output stands at 385 and 450 horses, and it is paired with an all-wheel drive and an 8-speed PDK as standard. By the way, buyers can also opt for the 7-speed manual at no cost. Audi RS5 Coupe Facelifted for 2020, the Audi RS5 Coupe arrives larger, beefier, cleaner, and more importantly, lighter. The major exterior update is the front end with a wider honeycomb grille, bigger air intakes, and standard matrix LED headlights. The Coupe sits on the updated chassis, which drops more than 130 pounds of weight. The powertrain remains unchanged so it still consists of the 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6 and the 8-speed automatic. The mill peaks at 444 horsepower and delivers 443 pound-feet of torque to all four wheels. Step inside 
and you will see a new Audi's 10.1 inch infotainment, a flat bottom steering wheel, front sport seats, and a panoramic sunroof. Standard equipment also includes 19 inch wheels, 3 zone climate control, and interior LED lighting. I do not want to believe that you have not smashed the like button yet. In case this accident did occur, now is a perfect time to fix the mistake and thumbs up the video. Thanks for your support and let's get back to 2021 German sports cars. Porsche 718 Cayman and Boxster GTS 4.0 Positioned between the mid-level GTS and the flagship GT4 models, these all-new Cayman and Boxster become the cheapest 718 sports cars that you can get with a potent flat 6mm instead of the usual 4-cylinder. The naturally aspirated 4-liter mill is taking off the Cayman GT4, but it is slightly detuned, peaking at 400 ponies and 310 pound-feet of torque. For now, the engine is mated exclusively to a 6-speed manual gearbox, but Porsche has already announced the arrival of the 7-speed PDK as an optional extra. Compared to the base models in the range, the 4.0s get standard sport chrono package, boast a twin tailpipe sport exhaust, and sits 0.8 inches closer to the ground thanks to the active suspension management system. BMW M5 and M5 Competition The current generation of the M5 performance sedan already possesses superior performance characteristics. But with the 2021 facelift, the car gets even sharper exterior design and more advanced chassis tech. The first thing that you will notice about the revised M5 is the larger kidney grille, new air intakes, and slimmer LED headlights with the L-shaped DRLs. The competition model is further distinguished by the black finishes, 20-inch wheels, and a black chrome M Sport exhaust. The drivetrain setup continues to be represented by the 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8, an 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive. It nets 600 horsepower and 553 pound-feet in the M5, while the competition bumps the output to 625 horses and broadens the torque bend by 170 rpm to 5,860. Inside there is a new infotainment system with a 12.3-inch touchscreen as standard. Porsche 911 Turbo S and Turbo S Cabrio The Turbo S is the flagship model in the updated 911 range that arrives both in a coupe and cabrio body styles. The fact that it isn't just a minor facelift is obvious in the dyno. The 3.8-liter twin-turbo flat 6 now produces 650 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque, which represents a 7 HP and 37 pound-feet advantage of the previous 991 generation. The Smite is channeled through an 8-speed PDK dual-clutch transmission to all four wheels. To manage the increased power output, the clutches were reinforced and rear axle modified. Plus, there is a new cooling system in place to decrease turbo lag. The car also gets PASM active suspension management that scans the road 200 times per second to adapt the damping rates. Finally, in July 2020, Porsche released a baby version of the Turbo S model that drops the S from its name and makes 581 ponies. Mercedes-AMG E53 Coupe The refreshed E53 family goes on sale late in 2020, and we can already see that the midlife facelift offers more than simply cosmetic updates. Even though the car gets the same 3.0-liter inline 6 turbo engine that returns 429 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque, it is now paired with the EQ Boost. The smiled hybrid system can briefly generate extra 184 pound-feet of torque. Design-wise, the coupe, as well as the entire lineup, gets updated grille with 12 vertical slats, larger air vents, a fresh set of 19-inch 5-spoke wheels, and sharper LED headlights. Mercedes have also addressed one of the major complaints of the outgoing model, which is the old command infotainment. 
Instead, there is an all-new MBUX dual system, consisting of a 12.3-inch touchscreen and a digital instrument cluster of the same size. BMW M3 Sedan and M4 Coupe The next generation of BMW's iconic sports cars are right around the corner, currently undergoing racetrack testing at the Saxon Ring. Both Sedan and Coupe models are adopting a modified version of the new 3.0-liter twin-turbo inline-six cylinder that was first introduced for the X3M and X4M crossovers. Traditionally offered in standard and competition packages, the motor makes either 480 or 510 horsepower and 478 pound-feet of torque. This herd is channeled to the rear wheels via a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed Steptronic. Moreover, all-wheel drive MX drive versions are in the making as well. The specifics are yet to be disclosed. Though we are already familiar with what to expect within the performance package of this duo, we shall see a reworked M-specific suspension setup new wheel suspension, springs, dampers, and revised braking technology. We are gradually covering all new sports cars from different countries. So subscribe to Automotive Territory Daily News not to miss the upcoming releases. Voice your own opinion about the models from this episode in the comment section and do not forget to leave a like if you haven't already. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you later.